Hi everyone, you know well, we bring update regular basis. Thankfully, we have brought to you another update element pack 5.2.0. In this video, I will tell you about the newly added widgets, features and moreover about the fixed issues of our existed widgets. You will see all these things one by one. So let's start. Guys, to begin with, I will tell you about a new widget, what you are going to get from this update. And the first newly added widget is Hoba Video widget that I have inserted here before. After inserting the widget, you will find two more repeater. And the repeater allow you to add the video you want to show. I'm clicking here and choosing video. Also, you can add poster with the video, just you have to click on the choose image field. This time I'm choosing the image according to the video. And I'm taking mouse on the video and the video will play. If you want to get a complete video on Hoba Video widget, just you have to visit our YouTube channel. Image Accordion, another newly added widget in this update. Look under the Image Accordion sections, you will find some repeater. And the repeaters allow you to add a title, title link, subtitle, descriptions button text and button link choose image background field and I'm scrolling down and choosing this image see image is here and you can also do the same thing for rest of the repeaters To get more idea about the widget, how to use a image accordion widget, you will find a complete video on our YouTube channel. Just visit our YouTube channel and search image accordion widget. Guys, in this update you are going to get another new widget and the widget is image expand widget. The widget is quite similar to image accordion widget but the difference after clicking the item the image will take place in a full screen for example i'm clicking on the first repeater see all the things are same crawling down and setting the background image and choosing this image and inserting from media clicking again and see and you can do the same thing for the rest of the repeaters and that's all about new widget in this update now I'm going to tell you about our widget update and fixing user login widget come to additional options and see and look at the show user name options that was not available in our previous update that you can use from this update easily and see avatar in bottom in this update we have fixed these issues just enable the switcher button and also you can hide the welcome message I'm updating and clicking on the preview button see only the username and image is showing the button scroll button widget 
From this update, you can add animation to the scroll button. Just you have to enable show fancy animation switcher button. Click on the fancy animation drop down and you will find three animation options shadow falls, multi shadow, and line bounce. And this is shadow falls and this is the default animation. Now I am choosing multi shadow. See the changes. Now I'm going for line bounds. And also you can add color to the border color if you choose line bounds. Or if you choose animation multi shadow then you have options shadow color. Style flow widget. Under the direction sections, see there is a style control. And click on the drop down, and you will find a style. Before the style was not dynamic, but after this update, you will find this arrow or style dynamic. Like I'm choosing. See the dynamic arrow. Testimonial Carousel Widget In this widget, in this update, we have added a slide for column control option. And click on the drop down and see, you can set column from 1 to 10. Like I'm choosing 2. See, one more slide has been added in the column. Testimonial Grid Widget See the pagination newly added feature in this widget I'm enabling the pagination switcher button and see the pagination Table of Content Widget In this widget we have added the options of adding the index header text and, and you will find it under the additional sections. See I'm giving the name my my first index. See my first index is showing the header file. And from the style we can also add the color with the header. From the header text control, I'm giving the color with the text. Regarding model widget, you can style the close button as you like. For example, you can add background color and normal text color. Also, you can give the border type solid. You can add the width, border radius. Look, currency format in the price table widget. From now, you can set the currency format also, you can set the currency positions. For that, you have to go to Style tab to Pricing section. See, here is Positions. From where you can set the currency position. And this feature was not available in our previous versions. Look at the post grid widget. In this widget, in terms of 
Harold skin and Allied skin, we have some fixed issue. Go to additional section, click on the show text on op options. And you will see primary text and secondary text. From this update, if you want, you can limit the primary text. For example, I'm giving 60. See, the text has been increased. Similarly, you can increase the secondary text limit. simple counter form widget in our previous versions level and level and placeholder was not showing but from this update you'll be able to use level and placeholder in your simple counter form and also if you want to manage the level you can do that easily just you have to on and off the level switcher Instagram has deprecated all access token systems. We are really sorry for delay to cope up with the new access token systems. Thankfully, we have fixed all access token issues in this version of Element Pack. Let's see how access token and Instagram API system works. If you come to Element Pack from WordPress dashboard under the API settings, you will find a field to paste Instagram app ID, Instagram app secrets and Instagram access tokens. And you can create all these things, just you have to visit this link. If you visit this link, you will be able to create Instagram app ID, Instagram app secrets and Instagram access token. Since we have fixed these issues in these versions, you will be able to easily use Instagrams in your site. See, here I have inserted Instagram widget. See, there is another Instagram token options here you can paste. If you want to access another person's to show Instagram feed, then you can also put Instagram access token here. If you notice, there is no like and comment options. Uh, since the Instagram is tough, like and comment options, that's why we also cancelled like and comment options from this version. That's all about Element Pack Update 5.2.0. If you face any issue from this update, you can contact our support forum. Thanks for watching.